And now, ladies and gentlemen, for final, uh, final words about his father, and of course, a vote of thanks to you. Please make welcome his son, Osaho Okumbo. Keep clapping till he gets here, please. There's a home in the sky Far above the big blue horizon Where you continue to fly A place where your spirit never dies Please allow me to stand on all existing protocol. Firstly, I'd like to thank everyone for coming to honor my father. I'd like to thank God for the past few days have gone beautifully. I want to thank God for allowing that to happen. The program says a vote of thanks in the eulogy. Since Tuesday, a lot of people have said beautiful things about my father. I, I am a student. If you know one thing about my father, if you know him well, his calling is that he's actually a teacher. His life is a lesson, and every chance you get to spend with him, he tells you a story. He always tells you a story from his experience or from the Bible. I'm sure there are various videos that have gone around about what he said about the Lord's Prayer. For as long as I can remember, I've studied my father. My father's a complicated man. My sister said it. There's so many parts of him, and we all have those parts that form a foundation of our character. But one thing I came about, a turning point for me was probably in about, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you a story, a story that I've never really told anybody. A turning point for me with my father, I always call him. I call him at various times when I'm trying to figure him out. Why did you do this? Why did you do that? And there was this, it was 2017 before I turned 30. I was in Canada. It was 2.30 a.m. Nigerian time. And I was just reflecting, you know, before I turned 30, just reflecting on life. And there were some events around that time that were confusing me. And I called my father. I said, Daddy, it was 2.30. He woke up and said, Usao, are you okay? He said, no, Daddy, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. He said, ah, what's up? What's going on? And, you know, I started hailing him, Capitan, El Capi, my mentor. I have a, there's something about you I'm trying to figure out, Daddy. Why do you forgive so much? Why do you forgive so easily? If you know my father, there's so many people around him that have hurt him very deeply, but still he has them around him. It was something that I couldn't understand. A man so dogged, a man has been so successful, in this jungle, how will you be able to survive with such a soft heart? I asked him. It was 2.30 in the morning, and he told me, he said, my son, do you know the reason why God would always deliver my enemies at my feet? And I said, why? And he says, because God knows I'll have mercy upon them. That resonated with my very heart. And from that moment, I stopped questioning why my father forgave so easily. There are two guiding principles. People have said so many things about my dad. There are two guiding principles, love and mercy. Those are the two principles he lives his life by. Everything else is all around. Yes, he's a hardworking man. Yes, he's a man of integrity. Yes, he's very disciplined. Yes, he's very dogged. These are all characteristics. But what guided his being till the very last 
moment was love and mercy. Those were the two things. I've been hearing a lot. Oh, you have to fill his shoes. Captain Indahosa Okumbo is not somebody you fill their shoes. He's not. He told me something. In the, in the heat of this cancer, he told me something. And he said, my son, everybody is not supposed to live long. It's not by the length of your life, but it's about the impact you've lived and you've had on the world. I've always told you people from when you were growing up, and every single one of us here from the first to the last will testament to this. Once I've paid your school fees, Everything else is jara. I will sell everything I have to enjoy myself. That is what he told us growing up. Pulling all that through, that was him telling him that God sent me here to do something. I think I don't need to go over all what he's done. The past four days, people have spoken on what he's done. That is the impact for his life. The legacy, the legacy that we can carry on, the greatest tribute we can give to him is to live according to those two principles, his children, his brothers, his friends, his business associates. The greatest tribute you can give Captain Idahosa Wells Okumbo is to continue to live in love and let mercy be your guiding light. Thank you very much. God bless you. I thank you very much for coming through. Thank you. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. Where you continue to fly, a place where your spirit never dies. This is in farewell. Very nicely put. I'll the impact see you of again. Captain Doctor Idahosa Wells Okumbo cannot be denied. Just coming into the city of Benin, you can feel the pulse of the city mourning the loss of a great star. But his brightness will continue to shine. <laughs>